episode of Related. Previously on Related. It's a complete disaster. My life is over. Do you understand that this means I'm gonna have to move back to Brooklyn with Dad and Renee? He didn't say anything. No, I told you. Okay, okay, he didn't say anything, but did he hint? He didn't hint, he didn't imply, he didn't send up smoke signals. If you wanna know if Dad is okay when you're going into the theater problem, go ask him. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is like God's way of saying, hey, Rose, go back to pre-med. Go be Joel's lab partner again. You know, set the universe right. You and Danny are breaking up. No. But yes, I know that we're breaking up and stuff, but do you still love me? You can't just stop seeing someone and not see them. Wow. Hello? What the hell? I'm fine, Ginny, how are you? Oh, don't give me that. I just spoke to Dad. What's this I hear about you not coming this weekend? I'm not coming this weekend? But Dad asked all of us to help with the deli. All. Ginny, I don't feel like spending the weekend in Brooklyn taking care of a deli. And bonding with your sisters just like old times. Dude, what the hell? How can you bail on us like this? Margie, I'd be no fun to have around. I promise you, you are better off without me. Oh, come on, Anne. You have got to snap out of this Danny thing already. Now take off the clown pants and put down the Cheetos and come to Brooklyn with us. They're Doritos. Anne, what would you say to a patient who's doing what you're doing right now? I would say, do what you need to do. If you want to, eat Doritos and wear clown pants. Well, then I would say you're not really that good of a therapist, are you? Hold on. Hey, I'm supposed to make you feel guilty. Ow. Can you please get them to leave me alone? We're just saying we're going to miss you. Rose, I'm going to have to call you back. Three freaks just broke into my apartment. All right, you're coming with us tomorrow night. Well, no, because then I'd have to get off the couch and I'd have to go and pack. I'll pack for you. But I don't want to go. Okay. Hmm. There is a very important Brady Bunch marathon on right now. Jan is allergic to the dog. They might have to give him away. I have to see what happens. It's the flea powder. She's allergic to the flea powder. Oh. Come on, Anne, we all agreed to go tomorrow. You can't back out now. I never agreed. Well, we agreed for you, it's the same thing. I mean, really, too, how many chances do we actually get to all be under the same roof for the whole weekend? Just like when we were kids. How could you want to miss that? Yeah, I mean, what's going on? Why don't you want to come with us? It's not you guys. It's every single person from the neighborhood that's going to walk into that deli and say, how's Danny? And I'm gonna have to tell every single one of them, I have no idea. All packed. Um, the thing in your underwear drawer, where did you get that? From the Mind Your Own Business outlet? Yeah, it's in Jersey. Oh, okay, you know what? If you just wanna sit here by yourself, then we're just gonna sit here with you and hum until you say yes. Hmm. You can't keep that up all night. Yes, we can. Stop the humming. What did she say? I'm not sure. Then keep humming. Wouldst not suffer me to kiss thy mouth, Yokanon? Well, I will kiss it now. I will bite it with my teeth, as one would bite a ripe fruit. Yes, I will kiss thy mouth, Yokanon. I still live, but thou art dead. All right, enough, enough. Miss Sorelli, do you know why I signed you this monologue? Well, is it because the, um... Probably not. I assi Sit down. I ass would you sit down, please? I assigned you this monologue, Miss Sorelli, because Salome, the character that you're playing, Salome, is a character who has many levels. 
and she requires passion in order to be believable. And frankly, can I be, can I be frank with you? You need to get past this sheltered daddy's little princess routine and find the woman inside yourself. Because yes, you're very cute, and yes, you can cry on command, but that does not make you an actress. It's the four most beautiful girls in Brooklyn. Hey, Hi. Hey, Bella. Come here for a second. Hey, I heard about you and Danny. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Can you please tell me what kind of a crazy person gives up a woman like you? I mean, come on, what's, what's he got, rocks in his head? No, if you want, I can uh, kick his ass for you, you know? <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank hey, there you, you are. I got some last minute instructions to your girls. Anne? Right. Uh, help me pack um, the car. I'll see you later, Marco. So there's a large platter order to fill. One of the Torcoletti twins is having an engagement party. Oh, which one? I don't know. Sonia or Tanya, the one with the hair? Oh, yeah. Anyway, they have to be filled by 5 o'clock tomorrow. Got it. Okay. Platter's 5. Hello, Angel. Hi. Hi. I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Your glasses. Oh, yeah, that was wrong. Can you believe I finally got your father to take a vacation? I don't know how you did it. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to the most fantastic inn. It's got feather beds, a heart-shaped tub, and I got my very first Chilean. What's a Chilean? Wax. It's all gone. Oh, my God, she means Brazilian. It's a surprise. Don't tell your father. Oh, we won't. Pensacola. Oh, God, he was so hot. Oh, I wonder what happened to him. You're married. I know. I just said I wonder. Hey, can I have this barrette? That's a roach clip. <laughs> you want a roach clip? Well, I thought it was a barrette. There aren't any Oreos. Ah! Oh, why did you do that? It wasn't funny when I was eight. It's not funny now. <laughs> Rosie, look. Look at this. Oh, it's from my sixth grade science fair. I played different types of music to ferns spawn from the same seed. Those ferns did not like Nirvana. Oh, you were so good at science. It was like a natural gift. Oh, don't say that. Her acting teacher yelled at her today. He basically told me I'm not a real actress. Oh, I'm so sorry. But he's not allowed to yell at you. Well, no, we're allowed to yell at you. It's not just him. You guys, acting is really hard. I mean, when I was in pre-med, I was bored sometimes, but at least I understood it. I didn't feel like I was drowning. And well, so I hate to say this, but this is what you signed up for. Actor's life is filled with constant rejection and a life of uncertainty. I mean, you knew what you were getting into. I guess. I mean, you couldn't just expect to sail through this like you did pre-med. You spent your whole life doing this science stuff. You have to learn to deal with rejection. I don't want to deal with rejection. Look, look at this. If you experienced rejection, you got second place. Only because Nadia Shabayek cheated her results. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing? What's the matter? Still the Kazanoff thing. Uh, anything I can do? Oh, yeah. You could kill him for me. Well, I don't know about that, but I could borrow some bacterium from the lab and make him very, very sick. How would you feel about coming to Brooklyn this weekend? Like, for a booty call? No. I'm thinking about switching back to pre-med. I want to know what I've missed. Can you catch me up? Are you serious? You're dropping experimental theater? Maybe. I just want to see. What about all your cool friends with the dreadlocks and the pink hair and the tattoos they're sure to regret in five years? Look, will you come to Brooklyn and help me or not? Are you kidding? And study all day with you in a deli? Of course, I'm there. Really? Oh, yeah. Not for you, though. For the free sausage and pepper sandwiches. Bite me. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, my God, Mom's ring. I can't believe that you just left it here in a box. Oh, gimme. No, I always wanted this ring, and you got it, and I mean, you don't even wear it. I wear it. You wear it. It's probably been in this box for, what, like, 10 years? I was just keeping it safe. Oh. Come on. I love this ring. Yeah, so do I. Guys. What? Let's not make it one of those weekends. What do you mean, one of those weekends? I just don't want you guys to get how you get. 
How do we get? Uh, at each other's throats, the battle of wills, the famous Ginny and Margie saga from pretty much every family vacation. There's no Ginny and Margie saga.